Hi, I am going to show you how to configure HP 400 G3 series of desktop um, with Windows 10 OEM version on it. This computer comes with the free DOS version, um, but we can install the uh, OEM version on it. We will see how it works. This is my OEM CD, Windows 10 64 bit CD. Uh, and when you open this, you will find the uh, media here, which shows 64 bit Windows 10 Pro full version. And here you will see the media key. Uh, can be used, CD key can be used while uh, installing the uh, software. Okay, when you switch on the computer, we can go to the uh, BIOS setting by pressing SKP over here. It brings the settings page. In the first page, it will first uh, menu will show you. Uh, to continue with the booting uh, with the free DOS or else and the other option you will see this um, BIOS setup uh, will show you the complete information about the BIOS uh, for example the same system information or uh, system IDs and uh, uh, other changes information okay the system is booting now and I put the CD already in the system uh, so it will ask me to start with the uh, CD Okay, after booting from the computer uh, from the CD, uh, this uh, setup screen will be appeared. Uh, here we have to select what type of language you want to start with. And by default, it will be English UK, and time uh, currency format uh, how you want it, like um, uh, 24 by clock or um, uh, 12 12 hours clock, uh, and uh, the type of uh, uh, currency format, date format, uh, something like that. Date is uh, DDMMYY uh, as a UK style or uh, in US style or whatever type you want, you can select it. And the keyboard format is uh, how you want, uh, like uh, this 101 keyboard is a UK style or US style. You can, uh, in the in generally, uh, I used to type, is a, I used to select as a US style, um, whereas uh, the number two become at that's one of the style of uh, us and um, uh, time and currency format i like in U us uk style uh, and the uh, language in the uk uh, this is the option you can you can select whatever type you want it then let's go to the next one here we have two options uh, whether you want to repair the existing operating system or install right now this is a fresh computer so I'm going to install right now here it asked me to type the uh, Windows key uh, here we have two choice either put the Windows key I mean OEM key uh, then next or uh, you can simply skip and go uh, it works for 30 days as a trial period then during these 30 days you can simply add the key uh, then continue okay the uh, license uh, option will come where you have to agree the license in case someone want to read this all license terms and conditions we can have it then just go to accept and um, click on next okay in this windows setup screen uh, we have two options one is which type of installation you want something like upgrade or uh, custom installation uh, this is not upgrade basically windows 10 is the latest software from uh, windows uh, from microsoft so there is no upgrade at the moment we have to go for custom installation so let's go with this okay as we discussed earlier this comes with the windows uh, sorry free dos version so that is showing here uh, this is the hp dos uh, operating system coming with that uh, and by default there is a partition number also has been taken as a system partition and the allocated unallocated space is around uh, 457 from 500 GB hard drive. So, if you want to continue with this, then we can straight away continue, create a new pass for a new uh, uh, drive and continue. But uh, uh, I don't think we need a we need those on the computer anymore. So that what I used to do is I simply click here, then I delete the DOS version from here, and the other drive also I will simply delete uh, so that you will you will see this now all 500 gb has become unallocated space 
now you can simply click on the new if you want or uh, uh, you have to simply click on new then you want two partition you can have it like a C or D uh, normally as a best practice we have to have two partitions that is a good option so I used to put like a 250 by 250 GB as a one drive then C drive then click on apply then click here uh, you will see this is uh, this new drive has been created right now uh, here again we have we will have that the recovery point is created around 450 GB uh, 450 MB from the 500 GB then another system partition has taken 100 then one as MSR reserved also for 16 MB so this three by default by automatic it is being created by the system uh, for the master boot record and recovery and system information and etc but this is your uh, uh, real drive which is supposed to be a C drive uh, it's been created as a primary drive and this is an unallocated drive see the unallocated drive I'm not going to configure right now I'll show you once we configure the Windows 10 how, how we can configure it so I'll click on here then click on next so the system starts uh, copying the files and uh, a default installation gets started. This screen is used to um, go with the uh, custom settings uh, for this uh, basic installation of the computer. Uh, here you will see the left hand side here you will see what type of keyboard you use at the moment. Uh, this is English, uh, UK key and the US style keyboard has been selected. Then we can go with the express setting. Here we need to uh, create one account it should be a default account so I'll put something like uh, it's a default user something like um, user for example then I'm going to skip the password I don't want to put it right now it will allow me to go the customization is going on uh, it will take some time to complete the total uh, customization okay the basic installation has been completed you will see the desktop here uh, here in desktop, um, the the good thing here is when you click on the start point here, it opens the app system here like this. Uh, you will see the all information like um, uh, the settings when you click here, the settings of the setting pages opens. Uh, you will see the display settings or printers or uh, network settings and etc. Uh, and the other one is uh, when you click here, um, you also see the applets here for the uh, quick uh, startup uh, in case for example this Microsoft Edge is one of the new uh, web browser from from uh, Windows 10 uh, still that Windows uh, Explorer I'm uh, sorry Microsoft uh, uh, Internet Explorer available in Windows 10 but they are most promoting the Windows Edge uh, then on here you will see the folder uh, view and um, as I'm in file explorer then here you will have the store option when you click here directly bring all your store but this is not connected to internet yet um, then when you click here you can directly go to uh, anything for example desktop application or in the from internet or anything for example I'm going to put something like uh, a control panel here uh, I'm going to type here for example sorry mm, control okay if I put the control panel here it shows the control panel desktop app or you want something uh, from the web you want to browse from so if I go here in control panel you will see the control panel option okay so this is what uh, how we configure the Windows 10 uh, on the HP or any other PCs uh, with the OEM CD key. Uh, thank you for watching me. Bye.